everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Life is Liz Reaches. I'm Liz. On this channel, I'm documenting the process of growing my resale business. I am a full-time teacher and decided to try this part-time on the side to see if one, there is room for one more reseller, let alone a part-time reseller. So I'm taking all the tips and tricks for, that I'm learning throughout my research that everyone is sharing to see if I can grow this to a profitable business. If you are interested to see how I'm doing or learn tips and tricks yourself, come along on this journey. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get into today's video. I have a very small haul today. Uh, there is a new, um, I guess it's a consignment store or a thrift store, I'm not sure exactly what it was, that has popped up near my house. It closes at 5 and I got there at 4.30. So I just took a gander around the store to see if it was worthwhile going back to and I did grab a few things right here. I want to some things here I want to share with you today. Um walking around this store, one, their prices were a little bit on the high side for a reseller to go in and purchase, but if I was going to do some thrift shopping for myself, I would definitely go back to this store. In fact, I might go today again. <laughs> I'm filming this on a different video. As I said, I am a part-time reseller and so I have to work with my full-time job. This week we had parent conferences. I'm also teaching night school so it's been a really crazy week. But let me show you what I picked up when I stopped at this store last weekend. This is Cactus Size 2X. This coral bathing suit cover-up. I think I'm gonna have to zoom out. Give me one second to reset. Okay, so one thing, the first thing I picked up, even though this was in with the tops, this is a bathing suit cover up by Cactus. This is beautiful coral color with these wood looking buttons, has some pocket details. It is not a linen material, but it does feel really nice and light like a linen. I only have one other thing with this brand listed in my closet and it has not yet sold. Um, but I do see the comps on that stuff is pretty good for that brand. And also with getting into spring and summer and people being able to travel more, um, I definitely want to pick up the cover up. Okay, this is pure Jill linen from J. Jill, a white linen top, size large. This looks like it's an oversized top. It does say size large, but if I hold it up to myself, it's definitely an oversized top and it is short sleeve. You're gonna hear me say this a lot, but sometimes I pick up a brand because I need to do some research on it and um depending on the price of the item i'm willing to invest a couple of dollars even if it's something that's only going to sell for 10 or 12 dollars at least now i know about that brand and i know what to pick up again and what not to pick up again so here's an example mario serrani italy it says one size it is this black and white tie-dye like one of those kimono dusters. It has armholes. There's no closure. And I don't know. This was with the plus sizes. I would say definitely a large. Oh, wait. Actually, it is plus size. I would say it would fit up to like a 3 or 4X. I don't know this brand, but again, I am willing to invest a few dollars to make a few dollars and learn a lot. So with this, I might only make $10, $12. I have no idea. Maybe I'll make $50. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Next up is J. Jill. This is 100% linen, size 20. I have a long black button down. It is slit up the back and it goes over this black linen shift dress that as I'm looking at now unfortunately um, I just held it up and I could see through the light 
that there is a hole in here. So, um, I don't know. Oh God. Oh my God. What happened? Somebody's dog get a hold of this. Okay. So this I'm not going to be able to sell. That's, oh my, oh my goodness. Look at this. Somebody had a rough night. So I'm not going to be able to sell this dress with all these holes. I thought if it was just one little tiny hole that maybe I could fix it. But there are so many holes in this dress. I'm not going to be able to sew it. It's unfortunate because it is 100% linen. I don't know if I can reuse this fabric. Are there any sewers out there? How would you reuse this fabric? Will you drop that in the comments down below and let me know. I don't know if I could use it. I mean, obviously I can use it for a dusting rag around my house, but if there's like some other way to reuse this into sewing it into something else, um, I'd be really curious to learn that. And um, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe there's crafters out there who buy um, who buy thrifted items that are damaged really cheap. I don't know. Maybe it will just become a rag around the house. Hopefully the jacket isn't damaged. As I'm holding it up with the light behind it, I'm not noticing any holes. I'm definitely going to give this a big, another inspection before I list it. So I, I have the jacket at least. Next up is Vince Camuto, size 2X, in this bright orange color. It is a button-down. I was in its long sleeve, buttons on the cuff. I was just watching a video of um, what not to wear in 2021, and Somebody talked about neons and not wearing any neon colors in 2021. However, I still love a bright color when we're coming out of winter. I think this is a beautiful oversized blouse with the pair of leggings especially. It'll be a nice cozy transition piece of going back into work once things start to move along here. And the last piece that I picked up was a Lane Bryant because you know, you know I never leave Lane Bryant on the rack. This is a purple gauze v-neck, almost like a boho style, has this lace on the sleeve, and it's a faux wrap front with a belt. So that's a size 26. And that's it. That's all I got at that store. Um, a lot of that, like I said, it was closing at 5 o'clock and I got there at 4.30. And also the prices were just a little bit too high for reselling for most brands. Um, these items were marked at lower prices. So I don't know if they knew what those brands were or assumed they were not as good as quality as some of the other brands. Um, but... I do have plenty of other stuff to show you later. I stopped at a different store, so you will see that in the next video. Um, if you like my content, you want to see how I'm growing my part-time reselling business, maybe you're interested in getting into reselling and you want to start part-time, come along on the journey with me. Hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.